Brownlow's two. Patrick Grips is one of Brownlow. Um, Ollie Wines is one of Brownlow. Nat Five, Tom Mitchell. Yappa 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 yada yada yada. This guy, every one of those years, at least for the last five, he's been my best player. And I feel like it's common knowledge that Bontempelli is different. He has what sort of Pendles has, not as much as Pendles, but where he, when he gets the ball, time just slows down. His kicking on his right foot is impressive, but his left foot is just, oh my God. And back to what I was saying about Zach Merritt. Zach Merritt is one of the best kicks in the comp. I would argue Marcus Bontempelli is the best kick in the comp. In the wet as well, he turns into a fucking beast. Two-way running, he gets in his defense and he's so tall that he can almost play as a rolling back key defender. He can move forward, play as a key forward if you want, play through the midfield. Every now and then, Bevo loses his nut and plays him as a fucking second ruck. So this guy is versatile. He's the best player. He's got the best kick. He makes the decisions. He is definitely number one on this 2013 AFL redraft. Anyone who puts Crips ahead of him is obviously biased. I would understand if you put James Sisley ahead of him because if you're at the draft and you're thinking, okay, I've got this amazing midfielder and this amazing key forward. What position does, does your team want more? Does your team need more? What position do you quantify to be more important? But you can't be putting Crips or Merritt or anyone else apart from Sicily ahead of him. But simply, he's been the best player for me. I love watching the Bond. I honestly tune into most Doggies games just to watch him play because he is so good. And that concludes my 2013 AFL redraft. Like I said, comment down below if you agree with them. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Comment down below. Follow the TikTok FT footy. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video.